What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer a Day with TK. It's Wednesday evening here in Finley, Ohio, so you know what that means, WTF Wednesday. Uh, for those of you who may be new to this series, WTF Wednesday is when I showcase stuff I generally wouldn't on the show. Sometimes it means macro brews, sometimes it means um, strange flavored beers or different styles of beer from micro brews. Um, and today what I'm going to do is a Christmas beer. Yeah, I know, it's a bit late. I picked up this Christmas ale keg from Breckenridge Brewing probably around Christmas. I put it in the back of my fridge and I had a bunch of other beers in front of it. I've slowly made my way through the other beers and then forgot that I had this, saw it and thought, it's time to move. I want to drink it before it goes bad. So this is Christmas Ale from Breckenridge Brewing and it looks like they are out of Littleton, Colorado as the headquarters. I think the brewery was originally in Breckenridge when it was founded in the 90s. Uh, I'm not sure if the brewery or the corporate headquarters is in Littleton, what the deal is. They are now a subsidiary of Anheuser-Busch, so they've been purchased by one of the big guys. I don't know if they bought them out wholesale or they just bought an interest in them, um, like we've seen with many of the other microbreweries. Went to the website to check them out, and they had a couple of different, um, I guess, lines of beers. So they had the main line, which was kind of their, you know, uh, normal beers they have all the time. They had a Nitro series, some seasonals with Oktoberfest and stuff like that. A throwback series. They did some seltzers, they had some barrel aged, and they had two pretty cool beers if you're a sports fan. They had a Denver Broncos and a Denver Nuggets um, specific beer, and it looks like they're only available in Colorado, so they were pretty interesting. Um, this here is 7.1% ABV, 22 IBUs. As far as ratings, I got a 3.55 on Untapped, 3.55 on Beer Advocate as well. That's a bit odd, huh? Um, 81 overall rating of good, so I'm interested to see how this one is. So let's put it over here. If you saw before, I did a mini keg with the um, Hofbrau one, and I had some problems getting it open. So I'm hoping it goes better today. So, step one, vetting the keg. Turn it a quarter of a turn here. We hear some air, that's a good sign. I'm going with this sweet glass here. This is Meisel Altbrow Oberensees. This is one of the glasses I picked up from that Coleman's Military Surplus in Pennsylvania. It said this is from um, a brewery in Germany, and these were used during Oktoberfest. I think the brewery went out of business, but I think I picked these up for like 10 bucks or something. It was pretty cheap. It's pretty cool glass, too. I'm used to seeing the dimpled ones, but this has like a different design to it. All right, let's check it out. Now, pull out the spout. This is where I ran into problem last time. I don't think I pulled it out far enough. And we'll give it a little twist. Which way is it going? Oh, there we go. Pour it quite nicely. Um, color looks actually quite nice. I can see it moving. I was afraid that it might have started to go bad, but it appears that it is still all good. Thank God. Or else I would have wasted 20 bucks. color almost has like a cola color to it it's like a blackish brown Ooh, pouring quite nice head looks quite frothy dealing with a nice uh tan colored head here you know see if i can stop pouring this Ooh, not too bad just poured it poured a bit on the floor but hey what you gonna do um you know again look at the color it has a nice kind of Cola color to it, decent looking head, smell. I don't see just pick up roasted malt, not a lot more. Just give it a shot. Oh, it's nice. Dominating flavor of this is definitely roasted malt. It's kind of mild. Pick up a little bit of a caramel or toffee kind of thing. Um, probably not as spicy as a lot of winter warmers. You do pick up a tiny bit of, of nutmeg or whatever that spices that they use, but it's not real heavy. I think a lot of times when you get these winter warmers, they do two things. They crush you with alcohol and they overdo it with that, uh, whatever the, the spices are they tend to use. I think, again, I think it's a nutmeg. And I don't think they did that in this case. It's got a pretty well-balanced taste. Medium body. For 7.1, there's no alcohol taste to it whatsoever. Not that 7.1 is super high, um, but you don't really taste that at all. Probably get a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of the caramel, nice roasty malt. Overall, this is a, a really tasty beer. Um, 
which is good because I have a bit more of it to get through, right? So Christmas Ale Breckenridge Brewery, you will get a big thumbs up. Definitely enjoy this. I'm glad I found it in the back of the fridge and glad I, glad I tapped it before it went bad. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. If you've had any of the mini kegs, let me know what you think of them. Hey, until next time, cheers.